Okay, so you're starting out in the game of golf. You're not quite sure what you need, but you know you need some clubs. So you go to the store, you go online, and you see these starter sets, these complete sets, these box sets. They've got everything you need, and you're thinking to yourself, is that what I should be buying? We're going to talk about that, so let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to the Mobile Club Maker. I'm AJ, thanks for watching the video. Today we are gonna cover starter sets, beginner sets, complete sets, whatever you wanna call them. We're talking about a bag of clubs, usually comes in a box, with everything you basically need to get started. So the questions are, well, what are you getting when you buy one of these? Why are they so much less expensive than other golf clubs? And lastly, should you, as a beginner golfer, someone getting back into golf, look at a set of clubs like this versus buying used clubs or buying new clubs that are more expensive? We're gonna cover all that today, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna cover is, what are you getting when you buy a set of these golf clubs? Oh, by the way, if you haven't, please go down below, hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that so you won't miss out on any new videos we have upcoming. So what do you get with one of these starter sets, one of these box set of golf clubs? What's coming in them? Essentially what you've got is a full set of golf clubs, that being a driver, usually one or two fairway woods, usually one or two hybrids, some irons, a wedge, a putter, and then a golf bag and some head covers. That is essentially what all of them are going to be offering. There's different brands. There's three big brands that you're going to see out there, one of them being Strata, which is actually owned by Titleist, one of them being Top Flight, which is actually owned by Dick Sporting Goods, and the last one being Wilson, which is owned by Wilson. Uh, each of these sets, and in some cases they make more than one set, but each of them will have slight variations. They may have a different set makeup. Some of them might have two hybrids and one fairway wood, some might have two fairway woods and one hybrid, some might only have fairway woods and no hybrids and just fairway woods going into irons. It's just gonna depend, but that's basically what you're getting. You're getting some combination of clubs. You're also getting a golf bag, usually a stand bag, that being one of the bags that has the legs that tripod out of it so it stands up on its own. It's great if you plan on walking, it's great when you go to the driving range because you can just throw it on your shoulder. It's just a lighter, simpler bag to deal with. Uh, and then you're gonna usually have some head covers, maybe a towel. Those are gonna be all the things that are coming in one of these starter sets. One thing to be aware of, anytime you look at any of these starter sets, they're gonna to refer to them as 14 pieces or 16 pieces or 12 pieces. Don't be confused when they say pieces and think that that's automatically clubs though because pieces are not clubs if that makes sense all the clubs are going to be considered pieces but so is the bag so are the head covers so is the towel if it's in there so it may say a 14 piece set but when you actually open it up that may only be 11 clubs two head covers and the bag giving you 14 pieces or some other variation so just something to be aware of when you're looking at these different sets beyond just looking at different brands, you also want to look at what's actually coming in them because it may be slightly different. One set may give you an extra club versus another set, so just something to take into consideration. Okay, so you know what you're getting basically in one of these starter sets, but the next question is, well, why are they so inexpensive? How is it that these clubs can only cost say $350 as a ballpark figure. Some of them will be a little more, some of them will be a little, a little less, but in general, they're gonna fall in that, you know, say 250 to 350 range for these starter sets. How is it that these clubs can be so inexpensive when just a single Callaway driver can cost you over $500 or a set of tailor-made irons can cost you $1,000? What is it that makes these clubs so much less expensive than some of the higher end clubs? Well, the first thing that's going to make these clubs less expensive is the materials used. Very simply, they're going to be using more basic materials than you're going to find in higher-end golf clubs. So, if you take an iron head like this, this is a very simple-to-make iron head. It's one complete piece 
There's not a bunch of different materials being put together here. It's just one piece of stainless steel. It may or may not have some sort of uh, sticker or decal, something like this on the back, but that doesn't really add anything to it other than a little cosmetic uh, bling, if you will. Uh, but the basic design is very simple, straightforward, one piece, a deep cavity back design, so it's supposed to be easy to hit. It's supposed to be easy to get the ball up in the air, hit it high, hit it straight, and hit it far. That's the basic idea of what you're seeing with this kind of club. Likewise, when you get into the fairway woods and you get into the driver, the fairway woods are going to be a very simple design. They're going to be stainless steel. It's just going to be a standard hosel like this. Uh, the bottom of it may have some sort of contouring of some kind to help get through the grass better. Uh, may or may not have something like this, some sort of little weight screw, although that is, again, going to be usually a little more uh, elaborate detail that starter sets may not have. Uh, but just something basic in shape and, again, function being hit it high, hit it straight, hit it far. Uh, the driver, again, you're going to be similarly simple design, basic 460cc, that's the head size of it. See, just a big, forgiving, easy to hit head. That's what you're going to get. Beyond that, you've got shafts, either steel or graphite. They're going to be sort of, you know, middle of the road, lower middle road quality. Um, the consistency of those shafts is going to be probably so-so. Uh, and then you're going to have some pretty basic rubber grips, just your basic rubber textured uh, simple grips. Again, they're not going to be high-end grips. They're going to be sort of low, middle-of-the-road kind of grips. So you've got these basic materials, but also besides that, you've got more simplified technology. If you look at a club like this, which is a modern, uh, more expensive iron head, you can see here you've got multi-material construction. You've got a titanium insert here to help move weight around. You've got a tungsten insert set in the toe here, again, to help get the weight ideally where they want it. Um, it's just a much more complicated golf club to put together because you have more than one piece. You're not just casting a single piece in a mold and popping it out. You're having to build the club. You're having to put it together. It's also using a higher grade of steel. This is a forged uh, head. It's a carbon steel. That's going to be a more expensive material. Likewise, when you get into the fairway woods and the drivers, modern day fairway woods and drivers have things like adjustable hosels. So you have a hosel sleeve that slides in here and you can adjust the lie angle, you can adjust the loft and face angle, those sorts of things. You're not going to have that on these basic starter set clubs. Uh, you're also not going to see adjustable, movable weights uh, like you do in a lot of modern drivers. You know, this sort of thing is very expensive to build clubs that have all this technology, both in designing them to make them work and just building them with these channels and these little weights and all the adjustability. Those are all expensive features. So you're not going to see that in these starter sets, in these box sets. You're going to see a very simplified, very plain sold fairway wood and driver. And then kind of going along with that, you've just got a more simplified production line that takes less time and less money to produce these golf clubs. Uh, these are very easy to make golf clubs, like we've already touched on. There's not multi-materials, they're not injected with foam, there's not all those sorts of bells and whistles with adjustability and movable weights, things like that. These are very simple golf club designs that are very simple to make. You pour these into the mold, they harden, you take them out, you do some pretty basic finishing work to polish them up a little bit, smooth out the rough edges, paint them up a little bit, and you're ready to go. That's all there is to it. You can pair that with a modern head that has either multiple materials or injectable foam or adjustable weights or all those different things. That's a much more elaborate process to put a club like that together. So it's going to be more elaborate, it's going to be more time consuming, and it's going to be more expensive. Uh, the finishing also is going to be different. The finishing on a set of $1,000 irons or a $500 driver is going to be much more detailed. They're going to be very finely 
detailed as far as how they paint in the numbers on the iron head or how they finish the cavity back here and how they put the logos on it and the paint and the stamping and all those little details versus when you look at the starter sets, uh, the box sets, you're going to see usually the fonts are a little bit thicker because that's just easier to work with. It's faster. It's easier to finish it that way. The paint job is going to be not quite as good in general. It may be a little more spotty. Um, it won't the paint won't be as good either. It's not the same quality of paint you're going to see on a higher end golf club. Also going along with all this, the quality control during that process is going to be lower. There's going to be a lower standard uh, versus, you know, when you're talking about an $800 set of irons, a $1,000 set of irons, a $500 driver. There, the quality control is going to be much higher. They want to be much more precise in not just how the club looks, but how it actually feels and plays. So again, all of that takes more time, takes more money versus these clubs. Very simple, very quick, very inexpensive. Okay, so we've talked about what you get in these starter sets and what to look for, why they're less expensive. Lastly, the big question, if you're a beginning golfer, if you're just starting out in golf or maybe just coming back into golf, or maybe you're just not sure how much golf you're gonna be playing, should you buy one of these starter sets? Should you buy one of these boxed sets of golf clubs? And my answer quite simply is yes, I think you should. I think they make sense for a lot of beginner golfers. And I'll give you three very simple reasons why. First off, like we've covered numerous times, they're cheap. We're talking say $350 for an entire set of golf clubs and a bag. You know, a set of irons these days for a modern set of irons of good quality are going to run you at least six or seven hundred dollars by themselves you know on the low end going up from there to over a thousand dollars a driver five hundred dollars fairway woods say 250 a piece so right there you've got a driver a couple fairway woods and a set of irons and you're at sixteen hundred dollars you still need a putter you still need wedges you still need a bag all that stuff you know, you're very easily going to spend a couple thousand dollars on a set of clubs just to get outfitted in a reasonable way, not even super high end. That's just kind of middle of the road at this point. So if you can get in at $350 and have all the clubs you need, I think that just makes sense. I mean, if you're not wanting to throw a lot of money at golf as you're just starting, this makes a lot of sense. The second reason it's very simple. Again, it's giving you everything you basically need. You've got the driver, the fairway woods, the hybrids, the irons, the wedge, the putter, the bag. All you need other than that are some golf balls and tees. So you've basically got everything put together for you. You don't have to search out like, oh, this driver and these hybrids and these fairway woods and do they match and then these irons and you know, piecing it all together. Now, there's nothing wrong if you want to do that. Some people love that. And as you get more into the game and figure out what works for you, that's part of the fun is finding the right equipment and picking out new equipment that works for you. But when you're just getting started, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of variations of all of these different kinds of clubs. I mean, it's completely overwhelming if you're just getting into it. So why not you know, let these manufacturers, let the Strata, the Top Flight, the Wilson box set just sort of get you set up with the basics of what you need. And you can go out and just work on learning to play the game of golf. The last reason is really because if you're learning the game, these sorts of clubs just make sense. You know, I have seen a lot of starter set clubs come in or get returned to shops because the heads break off and things like that happen. And I used to think, well, that's just because, you know, the quality is lower. So the quality of the shafts is lower. The heads are going to get more damage from playing them, all these things. That's basically just based off of the quality. And there's definitely a certain element of that. You know, there's definitely lower quality graphite shafts are going to be more prone to break. But along with that is you have to factor in the golfer. And if you're just starting out in golf, you're going to be 
putting these clubs through their paces and not in a good way. You're going to beat the heck out of these clubs. So it's not surprising that, you know, somebody's driver snaps off when they're hitting the driver, not necessarily here on the face, but over here and over here and whoops way up here and down here. You know, that puts a lot of stress on a shaft on the hosel. Not to mention, you're going to beat the clubs up. You know, if you hit the club all over the head, it's going to beat the club up. It's going to take the paint off. You might dent it. You have to think of it. It's a lot like when you learn to drive a car. You're not going to buy a Lamborghini or a Rolls Royce to learn how to drive a car because, you know, you're inevitably going to go and take a turn a little too wide and hit that light post or you're going to pull into that parking spot a little too far and scrape the underside of your car on that uh, curb. It's the same thing with golf, you know. You're gonna take that driver out and you're gonna put pop-up marks all over it. You're gonna sky balls left and right. It's just inevitable. It's part of learning to play golf. Or you're gonna go to the range, take a practice swing, and you're gonna hit your golf bag with your practice swing because you didn't realize how close it was. And yeah, we've pretty much all done that. We've all been there. But it's one of those things that when you're getting into golf, it's going to happen. You know, you're going to put your golf clubs, your bag on the back of a cart, and you're going to forget to strap it in. You're going to hit the accelerator, go, and your bags are going to fall off and land on the pavement. Again, a lot of us have gone through this. And when you're just learning the game, these are all things that happen all the time. So, you know, yes, you could have a $500 driver or a $1,000 set of irons and have these things happen to them and get beat up and banged up. Or you start with a more basic set. You start with a set that's $350. And you know what? If the driver gets banged up, if the paint gets taken off it, if it gets a dent in it, not a big loss. All right, so there you go. If you're starting out in the game of golf, if you're just getting back into the game of golf, if your significant other is wanting to get into the game of golf, do these starter sets, do these beginner box sets, complete sets, whatever you want to call them, however they're labeled. Do these make sense? I think they do. You know, they get you in at a good starting price. They're forgiving enough where you can learn the game of golf and enjoy it. And they're not expensive, so if you beat them up, if they get scratched, if they get broken, it's not a big loss. And if you decide going down the road that you know, you just don't enjoy the game as much as you were hoping or you just don't have time for it or any of those things that can happen during life, you're not going to be out a ton of money. So I think in general, I think they just make sense if you're going to be getting into the game to start out at least looking at a starter set like one of these. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, again, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Until next time, take care. Bye. Okay.